I've got another Windows 7 video here for you. Uh, this one is about personalization uh, of your desktop and whatnot. And the reason why we're going to focus on this is it is one of the main differences that you'll notice in um, Windows 7 versus the Vista XP and whatnot. Especially if you're going to Best Buy or, or those kind of stores, you'll see you know funky desktops and whatnot. And uh, the way to do that is you right-click on the desktop, go to Personalize. And you see you've got themes. You got My Themes, Arrow Themes, Windows 7, you know, all kinds of themes in here. So My Themes are the ones you've you've downloaded or you've custom made. So first we'll go to the uh, the download because usually you don't have these in here. So it says Get More Themes Online. So it takes you to Windows, and then you've got all kinds of themes here: featured themes, backgrounds, gadgets. We're going to stick on the Windows 7 themes because that's what we're kind of focusing on. You've got Ferrari, Gears of War, Gears of War 2, Infinity. There's all kinds of them. And you simply download it and it automatically saves in your theme settings. So, say you've got one you like. We'll use the Ducati one here. And you can actually, so there's a Ducati one. It is actually a scrolling background. It's pretty neat. We'll change the settings here. So, you see you've got Ducati selected. Then you said, excuse me, you've got the desktop background option. Click on that. Here it gives you some uh, some options. So you can select all pictures, clear all. So if you don't want all these pictures in the theme, you just unclick them. Let's say we want them all. We'll just hit select all. Then you can change the picture every 10 seconds, down to every 10 seconds, up to one day. So we'll leave it at 10 seconds. And it shuffles them. So, and you can have it position too. Fit, full, stretch, you know, tile, center, what have you. So if you had centered, save changes, and this is a full picture so I don't think it's, yeah, it's really not going to center on this one. Bad example. We'll go back to it, leave it to fill. As you can see, wait for it to change here. Changes in the back, pretty neat feature. Now, there's some other ones. Uh, here's a, uh, oops, already on that one. Here is a Ferrari one. Same deal. But you also got, you can create your own themes. So, to create your own theme, what you want to do is browse wherever you keep your pictures. So, we'll go to my pictures and we'll go to doo -doo -doo -doo, my videos so we will go to I've already got BMW pics on there so we'll go here click OK there's all kinds of different, I've got, you know, this is a whole album, 651 pictures. So I'm going to clear all of them. I don't want them all on there. Let's say I want these four or so. So that's the ones I want. Change it to every 10 seconds. Hit save. Here we go. And now you've created your own theme. You can do that with any kind of picture. Click back on it. And then you can go back to the Windows desktop backgrounds, pictures library, um, top rated photos, solid colors. You can even do solid colors if you want to change colors every 10 seconds or every day. Windows photo viewer, desktop background, and so on. We're going to cancel out of that. And we're going to go back to our desk now desktop, our BMW one they have got saved. And this one here, I've got 48 pictures in this one. I've got it every five minutes. So if I change it every 10 seconds, it'll just keep on scrolling. And that's really about it. Now, if you want to change your background, you can. 
obviously just do it here. You can just click one picture. So if I just want, to, let's clear all. I just want this one as my background. That'll just be my background. Or the normal way of doing it, how most of you probably do it, is just simply finding a picture. So we'll go to a picture. My pictures. So we will go to. Uh, Well, Ripley Star Cars. And you just simply right click on it. Set as desktop background. Just like you normally would. And that is also going to be in a theme. So you're going to personalize. And you can see that's an unsaved theme right there. And that's really about it. Just a uh, cool feature. Just to have the picture scrolling like that. It's uh, you know really pretty. <laughs> Doesn't do much other than that. Um, it's uh, just a nice little feature to have. It's not a memory hog, so don't worry about that, but uh, just thought I'd show you that. It's pretty easy to do. I'm sure most of you know about it, but in case you didn't, uh, now you do. Please feel free to leave comments and rate and subscribe, and thanks again for watching.